you are now ready to apply diamond fusion. Once you have protected all exposed metal surfaces, cleaned the glass, and completed preparation, follow these steps to apply DF1. Starting at the top of the driver's side windshield, use slow sweeping motions while introducing the DF1 chemical. Move the application chamber across the windshield and, using the rear view mirror as a guide, pass the center line of the glass. Be sure to overlap the center line of the glass by at least one-third the size of the application boxes. We are the leading company for this process in Spain, and if you take into account that the Spain is the major consumer of cured uh, ham all over the world, that's for sure. Well, we went to the, uh, the curing facility, and I yeah. couldn't believe how many product was there. Just the passion of people, yes. you know, that are behind it. I yeah. mean, and, and the product was just incredible. Yes. What could we expect as far as new products coming into the, the U.S. within a year? Anything new coming out that we can expect besides these products that are out there? Right now, Joe, for us, it's pretty important to the education of the American consumer. We really want them to know what is the product, and as you said, what is behind this product. As you said, we have hundreds and hundreds of people working on this from the raw material facilities, taking to the other house, bringing to the, our, our facility for the production. But the most important is the timing. For this product, the most important is the long time. It's two ways to cure the serrano ham or the chorizo or the lomo. One is the time. The detention and deportation system that we work in or that we work against is sort of tightening its grip. And as it's doing that, we need to sort of get tighter in our work. Um, so that's, that's the aim, it's to help us to work better, longer, stronger. Hi, I'm Chef Joe Seminari with Taste This Television. I want to give you another great Blue Bunny recipe. Starting with their famous premium coffee break. Now what I've done is I've taken some espresso, pour it in the pot. I'm going to add just a little bit of sugar, uh, probably about a teaspoon and then add some coffee break right in there also. The additional coffee break will make this dish really nice and creamy. And what I'm gonna do when all this boils down is I'm gonna mirror the bottom of this and then put the coffee break right in the middle of the saucer. So if you notice I have a plate here that's kinda of like a saucer plate where you would put the cup in the middle. This is exactly where we're gonna put the coffee break. Just kinda of leave that sitting there right there. and the awesome flavor of this Blue Bunny coffee break. So whether you're at the office or at home, enjoy this coffee break by Blue Bunny. Taste this.